Hi guys, so I'm filming this video because I've got myself a new laptop and I want just a quick video that I can see how well it edits. Sorry if you can hear the kids outside. <laughs> um, and I bought these uh, Jean Davenport watercolours, so I thought these would be nice. They came today. I thought that would be cool for us to just have a little swatch session and see. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna get that out of the box now. I've already had a look inside, they look really cool. <laughs> so you get your little swatch thing, the brush, I've got a free brush with it as well, which is cool. So then I'm doing this. Let's have a go. Buzzy. Cute. <laughs> this one is a ladybug. These were pretty pricey. <laughs> but it was cheaper to get the whole set than buy them individually, so I just bought them all. Wow. So, I don't really do a lot of watercolour. Or haven't in the past. But, um, Lifebook has really, there's quite a few lessons on watercolour. So, let's draw a butterfly. So, yeah. I'm kind of getting into it a little bit and learning how to use them better. So I've been investing in different colours. I bought a couple of shrinkers because they're Tam's favourite colours and they look beautiful when she uses them. So I thought let's, let's get those. Not a lot, just a couple of colours. And there was only one colour that I really wanted in these. But as I say, it just kind of made sense just to buy the whole. Shadow. I love the colour names as well. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I do have a cough again. So in my last video you saw where I was on holiday and had terrible terrible chest and I've had since had another cold which has left me. Same again, bad chest. It doesn't help that I'm asthmatic, so whenever I get cold, it just stays on my chest for ages. These watercolours are beautiful. Very bright. Let's see how nicely they dry down. Uh, chimney. Jiminy Cricket, I assume. I like that the swatch sheet is like proper watercolour paper as well. I'm trying to unwrap these quickly so it's not too boring. <laughs> so, best friend. That's really pink. This is a bright set, as you can probably guess. Um, I might forget, so. I probably will use some of these, mostly for probably life book, to be honest. I'm playing with that because Tam loves her bright colours. <laughs> if anyone knows Tamara Laporte, you'll know that. This one's Fairy Tale. Wow, I think this is the colour that I bought the sets for. The magenta y kind of colour. I didn't really have a nice bright magenta colour. So, now I do. Uh, oh, this one. 
reader. This one looks like a shimmer. Uh, where did I put the box? Yeah. Uh, oh, it's that one. I think it's on the little sheet. Um, tells you how what what exactly you get in the set. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a brown. Uh, oh, it's like a pinky browny red. A really deep colour. I like that. Mystic. Looking next. I feel like even though these were quite expensive, Jean Davenport kind of puts a lot of care and attention into things. Uh, I mean, it all came wrapped in this beautiful paper, which obviously I'm going to use with all this. I can just take with that. And like I say, I got a free brush, which I wasn't expecting. And it's just lovely. You get a little card in it that's got like a little message from Jane about her passion and things like that, which is really nice. What's this one? Royal. So after, yes, did I say that one was Mystic? This one's Royal. That's beautiful. I'm going to be using that a lot. Purple's my favourite colour. These two, beautiful. I think they'll go nice with that magenta as well. And then the last one in this set is ink. So, as I say, I wanted a nice quick video or simple video to edit so I can test out my laptop. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. I think I might be using these in my next life book lesson. A watercolour tree of this. <coughs> Beautiful. Put this to one side to dry. And then we'll go for the neutral. Okay, this goldy tip. Um, yeah, so before I do that, let's have a look. So yeah, it includes three primaries and a specially selected set of colours, it says in this one. I mean, uh, yeah. Attention to detail or what? <laughs> <coughs> so we've got mango. Easy video. Water's getting a bit mucky now. To test out my new laptop. Can't do it quite yet. I need to make sure I've got everything backed up before I put any new programs on it. I don't want to risk anything. Yeah. <laughs> Once that's all sorted, this video will be edited and up. Apple. Apple. <laughs> My voice didn't ring come out then. Apple. That's quite a nice bright red as well. Blue berry. I'm hoping that having a new laptop that's a lot quicker will encourage me to make more videos. To be honest, just the thought of sitting down and editing. I'd have to plan a whole day just to edit because my laptop is so slow. I may still have to do that, I'm not sure. But I'm just hoping that it will be a bit more, you know, bish bash bosh, here we go. Filmed, edited, out. And then I can do more videos and I won't just have that feeling of dread of like, I can't film a video because I just can't, can't be done with editing. Oh, this one's interesting. Dove. This one feels like a... A gouache almost. Chalky and 
second. Like so. This one's unicorn. It looks like a white to me. Interesting to see how that one layers if it's a transparent colour or not because white in you don't usually get well you do get white in watercolours but not a lot of people use it because it's yeah if you want something lighter you just add more water usually are they even? No, it's just a black, black. Vitamin C. <laughs> I'm guessing this might be like an orangey colour. It looks orangey, but... Oh, yeah, that's orange. So, yeah, this is a very neutral palette. Hoping to kind of get into a bit more watercolours because it is beautiful. It would be nice as well if these colours, which, judging by the first ones we've done, they're starting to dry down now, and they do look as though they're going to stay vibrant. Um, if I bring it back in, let's do that. You can see how it's drying. <coughs> this one's sand. A little lip on these, but I'm not sure. Yep, gotta kind of budge them along a bit so they sit in nicely. Just hoping that they don't all fall out. I know most watercolours are very transparent, but some of them are really transparent. This one is buff. So I'm hoping I might be able to do a little bit more this afternoon. Maybe some Mission Inspirations because I haven't done any smart and it's August. A bit behind. <laughs> but I've written all the prompts out and I've got some pages ready. So stay tuned, hopefully. Soon. So spice. It's a nice earthy colour. Kiss. Very unusual colour for a brow. Kiss, kiss. But there you go. Yeah. So you've got your primaries, and then these are all very neutral, which is lovely. They all go really nicely together, these browns. Coco. There we go. So, I'm going to let that dry over there. And then we'll have a look at this last one. the Let's See palette and it's got two metallics 
and a specially selected set of colours. So, this should be fun. Fun, fun, fun. Water Spirit is first. In the pan doesn't look like a very appealing colour, I have to say. Hmm. Very earthy green. Very earthy. Silf. Very leafy green. And a red? I don't know this one. I don't know what that is. This looks like it could be a blue colour. Ariel Don't know why I decided to stick my paintbrush in it then before I put it in the palette Ooh, Very warm red Wow. Look at that. <laughs> That's bright. That's almost fluorescent, that one. Comparing all the colours of all the palettes, and yep, we don't seem to have any repeats, which is nice. This is Enchantress. That's a really nice deep emerald. And we've got Lolo.
Do they look very similar to that one? We'll see when it dries out. It's, it's, it kind of looks a little brighter. This one is sea mist. I'm not sure which ones are supposed to be shimmer colours. Flirtatious. Maybe this one. Oh yes, that one. I can see that one straight away. I don't know if you're all going to be able to see that, but it's like that mica in there. Just see how it dries down. <coughs> and the last one is alchemy. Which, yeah, that looks like it was going to be a shimmer. Oh yeah. It's very subtle. As I say, it's it's like a mica. Uh, hmm. So I'm going to let those dry and we'll come back in a minute and have a look at them. So, they're all dry. And a, what the colours look like. So, those are the two shimmers there. Okay. Ooh, yeah. So, that's the mermaid palette. Uh, mermaid. Um, what's it called? Let's see. <laughs> oh. yep. uh, this is the neutrals palette. Really nice. Bright colours. Well, neutral colours and then a couple of brights. And then your brights, which have stayed really, really bright. That Frida one's gone. A little more brownie, but it is more on the ready side if that makes sense. <laughs> so, yeah, I love those, and I, I'm gonna get a lot of use out of those. I love how these little parts have got these little like non slip feet on, They're really cool. So, yeah, so I hope you found that interesting. Um, I definitely, I say, I'm gonna be using loads a lot really beautiful colours and they've stayed really nice and vibrant which is lovely so thank you for watching guys and i'll see you again soon